Welcome to the client education video for egg freezing patients at RMA of New York. The practice committee of the American Society for Reproductive Medicine recommends that all programs who perform egg freezing do so under strict ethical guidelines, that all centers have an outside oversight committee, often called an Institutional Review Board, or IRB, that has approved any egg freezing studies, and finally, that all patients be informed that egg freezing is still new and considered a research technique until further studies have been completed. These guidelines are being followed here at RMA of New York, and we'll be providing you with an IRB-approved research consent with all the details about your participation in our egg freezing study. This video has been produced to provide you with an overview of the egg freezing procedure performed in the embryology laboratory, and to present the results from our clinical experience with this new technique. Prior to your visit to the laboratory, you will have undergone follicular stimulation and cycle monitoring with the clinical staff at RMA of New York. When the clinical team has determined your eggs are mature, they will schedule you for the laboratory portion of your cycle. On the day of your procedure, you will be brought into the OR and a physician will aspirate your follicles using ultrasound guidance. An embryologist then searches for the eggs in the follicular fluid. You can see the pink fluid in the round dish under the microscope. The embryologist uses a pipette to pick up the eggs, which are seen here surrounded by clear looking cumulus cells. The eggs are then moved to a retrieval dish where they are washed. You can see the eggs as small black dots within the mostly clear cumulus cell complexes. Following washing, an embryologist uses two needles to carefully dissect off many of the unnecessary cells before the eggs are moved to culture dishes. Prior to moving the eggs into their culture dish, Two embryologists witness all retrieval and culture dishes. Your name, along with at least one other patient-specific identifier, such as your birth date or social security number, is verified. The eggs are then washed through the culture media and placed two to three eggs per drop until the freezing process begins. RMA of New York has years of experience with and has published our center's pregnancies using a proprietary slow freezing technique which has been applied more than 4,000 times worldwide and has resulted in more than 500 babies being born. An alternate freezing technique called vitrification can also be performed, but vitrification has only been applied in a limited number of cases with significantly fewer babies being born. Therefore, RMA of New York has chosen to use the slow freeze technique due to the significantly larger number of cases performed, the increased number of babies born, and our own highly successful published years of experience with the technique. In order to freeze eggs, we must first remove the majority of water by dehydration to prevent the liquid from forming ice crystals inside the eggs during the freezing process. Ice crystals within an egg can harm the highly organized internal structures. Using specialized freezing media in a dehydration dish with increasing concentrations of dissolved sugars allows us to effectively remove much of the water from inside the eggs, replacing it with protective fluids. Once again, both the culture dish with your eggs and the dish for dehydrating them are witnessed by two embryologists before any specimens are moved. After having the remaining cumulus cells removed, you can now see the two eggs as distinct dark circles. An embryologist then moves the eggs from the culture dish into the dehydrating dish. As we magnify them under the microscope, notice the very round shape of the eggs while they are still full of water prior to dehydration. Your eggs will then be moved to the second well of the dehydrating dish, containing more dissolved sugars which can be seen to noticeably shrink the eggs and cause them to take on the appearance of a puckered surface. Compared to their original shape and size, which you can see on the lower image, they shrink dramatically as the water is removed. As they begin to replace the removed water with the protective fluids, the eggs re-expand back to their round shape.
The eggs are finally moved into a third well of the dehydration dish, which contains the media they will be frozen in. They are now dehydrated, protected, and ready to be frozen. Before the eggs are placed in the freezing straw, two embryologists witness both the dehydrating dish as well as the plastic plug that will close the storage straw. The plug contains not only your patient-specific identifiers, but also contains the quantity and maturity of eggs frozen in each straw. This allows us to easily identify the frozen specimens when you decide to thaw them in the future. The straw is loaded in a very specific manner, and here the two eggs, the black dots, can be seen entering the end of the straw before it is sealed. By sealing one end and plugging the opposite end of the straw, the eggs are specifically labeled for you, isolated from outside contact, and securely protected from falling out of the straw. An embryologist will use a controlled rate freezing machine to slowly regulate the freezing process. The machine allows for very precisely regulated cooling from room temperature down to negative 196 degrees Celsius for long-term storage. Your straw is inserted into the freezing unit and a specific program is run to cool your eggs. This program initially cools your eggs at 2 degrees Celsius each minute until they reach negative 7 degrees Celsius. At negative 7 degrees Celsius, a very important part of the freezing process occurs. An embryologist will cause controlled ice crystallization of the media surrounding the eggs. By beginning crystallization before it would happen naturally, we are able to decrease the dangerous effects of ice crystals on the eggs. Frozen forceps are touched to the liquid column of media in the straw, causing the crystallization, which can be seen as the liquid turns from clear to opaque. The freezing program is then continued at a cooling rate of 0.3 degrees Celsius each minute until the end of the freezing program. The straw containing your eggs will be stored in a goblet with your specific identifying information on it, attached to a metal cane containing your name and freezing date. Once the freeze program completes its run, liquid nitrogen is poured directly over the straws, which produces a large amount of frozen vapor seen here. This rapidly bathes them in negative 196 degrees Celsius liquid nitrogen. At this very low temperature, your eggs can be theoretically maintained and stored indefinitely. The cane and goblet are prepared by plunging them directly into liquid nitrogen, and your straw is then placed in the goblet, keeping it in liquid nitrogen the entire time. The cane is closed and your patient-specific information is checked once again. The eggs are then placed into a long-term storage container called a Dewar, which is filled with negative 196 degrees Celsius liquid nitrogen and monitored for any changes in temperature. As evidence from our successful experience with this new procedure at RMA of New York, we present our results from our previously published paper in the Journal of Fertility and Sterility. We used the eggs of four young females to study the effects of egg freezing. Overall, a total of 79 eggs were frozen and then thawed with an 86% survival rate. Normal fertilization was achieved in 90% of the surviving eggs, and 92% of the fertilized eggs developed as embryos. A total of four patients had embryos transferred to them, with a resulting high implantation rate per embryo of 26%. Overall, three out of the four patients became pregnant, with five healthy babies being born. Although RMA of New York cannot guarantee any specific results, we believe we have demonstrated the extreme care taken to perform this procedure and have presented the previous clinical success we have with this new technique. RMA of New York cannot guarantee that your eggs will survive the freezing and thawing procedures, that they will fertilize normally, develop into embryos, or result in healthy offspring. The embryologists at RMA of New York take great pride in helping patients and we hope this video helps you understand the effort that we put forth in helping you preserve your fertility.